What's up, guys? Yo, yo, yo. Cool. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Is that a microphone? This? Wow. This is, this is my... Hello? Check, two, one, two. Good, good mm, stuff. Mm, mm. That, that's yeah. why you sound so smooth. No, I just, just be like that. <laughs> good one. <laughs> How are you guys yeah. doing? Yeah. I think like uh, man, all the all the all the stuff I read about the states is so bad. Oh, really? it's horrible. It's just as bad as you read. It's oh, uh, no, I'm I'm curious what you read about the states actually. Well, I, like I like I get the feeling that the that that, that I want to say you guys, but it's obviously not you guys. But it, it seems like the country doesn't get a grip on on Corona. Oh, yeah. no, we don't, because we have people who are turning the whole idea of wearing a mask into a political and religious belief rather mm -hmm. than a humanitarian concern. Yeah. Which is kind of ridiculous, but... Yeah, and America's also, just lost how's it. it how is um, how's it over there in the Netherlands with coronavirus and everything? Uh, it's, it's pretty chill now. Um, I mean, it was never really, really that bad, but, I mean, we were kind of like in... Uh, in self uh, quarantine for a couple of weeks and i mean it's kind of like heating up a little bit now the the amount of uh, infections but it kind of due to the fact that people are just like are slowly living their life again and getting more outside and it's getting busier in the in the inner city you know so mm -hmm. i mean to me it's just like i feel like people just need to get it a lot of people just need to get it and yeah. get it over with. and yeah uh, i think older people should just stay indoors and and let's let's get on with life and, and you know everything it's, yeah it's okay I, you know no complaints i would well, love to play shows again though that's that's the thing we really miss like yeah. we haven't played shows and we haven't toured since january you know mm -hmm. yeah that's that's crazy i mean i i feel the same way you know my my job is taking pictures at concerts and music festivals and the last show that i shot was in march so it's been quite a long time and that's uh, pretty yeah. crazy. So how did you feel about um, Tomorrowland getting um, not canceled, but changed to digital this year? Honestly, um, when, when, this, when this request came in from Tomorrowland and, and obviously we're pretty close with those guys because you know, we're neighbors and, yeah. uh, and they do a really fine job in, in organizing these huge festivals every year. And, and we've been playing that festival for so many years but we already did a ton of of um of live sets and live shows by the time this request came in but then um they invited us to this the zoom and they really explained their whole idea and they showed us some stuff they're working on and we were really like okay this is pretty um this is so new and and i mean they were really innovating this whole thing yeah. um so then it was then then we were kind of like um uh, pretty excited and when we came over there, I mean, have you guys ever been to Tomorrowland? No, I, I was, I was, I, I was gonna go out this year. I was supposed to go out, this but year. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. But well, they, didn't they work are out. notorious for for how they how tight their organization is and how tight yeah. this this whole festival is. And the same thing was with the whole digital thing. We came and we to to record the set and everything, and everything was just really, really, really good. So it was cool. That's have awesome. you guys seen seen the snippets? Uh, I, I haven't. Have, yeah. Oh, it's it's mind blowing. It's yeah. honestly fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. How you get, um? You get like a little bit of of of, of FOMO, uh, like, <laughs> but it's not really there. It's just digital. But yeah, I've been getting FOMO for the past couple months. I miss you know I miss everything. It's just being yeah. on the road and you know going to these shows and everything. Um, how was the recording? process um for your set did you guys do it from your house or no no the, everybody everybody came over and recorded in belgium oh really yeah and they had a whole compound of where usually the festival is but obviously there was nothing now um mm -hmm. but uh, but there's um there's a big indoor thing where they do all the press normally during mm -hmm. the normal festival and there was a big 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 um uh green screen setup but like huge because they were filming like with real cameras from, from like 30 meters up, you know, like high, high. So it was oh, like wow. a big green screen thing. And um, for the set, I just kind of like um, um, talked it over a bit with Jim. I mean, uh, Jim, my partner in Yellow Claw, he lives in, in Bali. 
and uh, I, I didn't see him since March. Wow. Uh, so we kind of handle all 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 the all the business stuff now on on Zoom and WhatsApp and everything. But we just kind of kind of you know prepared everything together. You guys miss each Although, other. Sorry. Do you guys miss each other? Yeah, it's pretty crazy because mm-hmm. I mean we've been touring the world for for the last. I don't know. I don't even know. Five, six, seven, eight years or something. Wow. So for, all of a sudden, not seeing each other for like for like this amount of time is super weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds it sounds like it's a interesting interesting feeling. For sure. Yeah. Um. So like with with the quarantine and everything, and with everything being a lockdown, I know you guys just put out your album Never Dies. But do you guys have any more? music that you're working on during this quarantine yeah actually we had we had a we had a big release coming up we were in the midst when this whole thing got really bad and like like end of march we were in the midst of shooting a new video uh oh, for yeah. a track uh we were doing everybody and the whole crew and us were supposed to fly in in japan but then that whole thing fell through obviously um mm-hmm. so we kind of postponed that ep as well and uh but we, we play, because we're shooting a video for a song that's part of a big EP, but we played everything in the Tomorrowland set just to give everybody like a, a peek of like new stuff that's coming up. Hopefully yeah, yeah. to get excited again for music and new releases and everything. So what uh, can people other than that expect from your set for Tomorrowland this year? Um, I think like what we do every year over there, it's just we... It's like it, it's this is always the case, right? We're like we are the most um, excited for our new stuff, but people mm-hmm. really want to hear like classics <laughs> or like stuff yeah. they really like. So it's so we really dug back, uh, like maybe even like eight or nine years, like like a couple like very old songs are in that set, just to give people the respect of we know you love the old stuff, so we'll we'll definitely not stop playing it. So there's a yeah. couple like oldies in there. Nice. Which I think is really cool, and uh, and in what I just said, like probably like ten new songs. Awesome! Oh wow! That we, can, that we can just wait to release, but I mean, it, what's the point? There's yeah. nothing to party to, you know. Yeah. Are you guys still gonna? Are you guys still gonna play DJ Turn It Up? <laughs> <laughs> that song Not even actually no. <laughs> that song no. is huge over here, in, like the colleges over here, and. Uh, in the states at all the parties people i hear that all the time i know super dope yeah. yeah so how did you guys get together um and form yellow claw originally uh, we uh, this is 10 years ago probably okay. uh, we, uh, um i met jim on a party we were both playing and they asked us to play together and um and we and that was so much fun that we kind of decided like hey i have a lot of shows as a DJ, as a solo DJ, you too. Why don't we just like do those together and we have more shows and we can do them together and we can drive to them. And like everything was domestic back then. Um, and, um, and that just turned out to be something that was working really well. And um, I mean, we really complement each other when it comes to like doing business, making music, like even, even on stage, you know? So, okay. That's the story, and we, and we actually never really looked back. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Sorry. Cool. And then after, and then you guys in 2013 got signed to Mad Decent, right? Yeah. Mm. And then how did did your career kind of take off from that, or was it was there one like defining moment in your career that kind of made you guys like hit the next level? Yeah, I mean, we we it, things went really fast in Holland. And Belgium and Germany when we released a string of four songs mostly in Dutch mm-hmm. uh, those songs got huge on YouTube um, and we gave them away for free so there was no release actual but but they raked up millions and millions of views in just like weeks um, or like days even it was crazy and then then I met up with Rochelle and we made the song shotgun mm-hmm. and that that popped off in a major way and i mean diplo was reaching out to us on soundcloud already like when we dropped the very first like just soundcloud songs because you know how he is he's 
he knows everything and he hears He's everything. Yeah. Philly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and um and but that shotgun song kind of got the attention of labels in the states and also Matt Decent and we were talking to Diplo for a while back then already about doing music and that relationship started then and is still to this day a good relationship we still talk about and we did many projects of course and we still talk about like what's next because mm-hmm. on the label side we kind of do our own thing as well of course we have your own label but own family and mm-hmm. we released on other labels but Matt Decent's just when it comes to the states it's just such a a powerhouse for for niche artists like us oh yeah for sure mad decent over here in the states is you know they have the mad decent block party in a mm-hmm. bunch of places um especially here in philly um because philly is where the first mad decent event was thrown um, yeah because you know diplo went to a college around here mm-hmm. um so it's just really cool seeing that whole community kind of thrive and grow over here in the states um, slowly but surely. Yeah, that's a cool story. Yeah. And then, um, so, you know, you, obviously you guys have worked with a bunch of cool, really cool people. Are there any artists that, like, your dream collab, like, if you were to pick one or two artists, who would it be that you can make a song with? I mean, we we really wanted to work with um, um, the Migos. That was, that was a couple of years back. And then we yeah. got... Quavo on a song and we yeah. tried to get Offset on there as well it didn't work out and the next song and then on the next album we, we we got Offset on a song so those are actually like we're just we're hip-hop dudes you know yeah uh, so to see those guys on your own productions that was big yeah I in, bet that, that sounds awesome in, in terms of um new artists I'm personally, I'm really excited about that um, that guy who's doing that um, that drill stuff right now, and he's on that on that last um, Drake um, song. Uh, the the Drake album. Yeah, let me let me. He he, because he he released that Dark Lane demo tape. What's his guy? Oh yeah, here here it is. Fivio Foreign. Oh, Fivio Foreign. Yeah. Yeah, and this, I don't know if a lot of people know him already. I I see he's not this big on Spotify and everything, but yeah. I really like. I, I and it it makes sense, of course, because the 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 stuff he does is really close to what we do when it comes to like tempo and those you know trappy and choppy beats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Growing growing up, who were some of the artists that you listened to most? Growing up, or just think, generally, um, I think like pretty like basic stuff like from like very wide from like obviously like Michael Jackson stuff, but also like my brother introduced me on an early age like hip hop stuff, um, uh, whether it's uh, West Side or East Side stuff like like. Uh, Pop Daddy and the whole thing and, and mm-hmm. Usher and Bad Boy and all that stuff. Um, that was kind of like my introduction to hip hop. As a kid, I listened to a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's funny now, that now, I'm, I'm, now I'm really on the West. Now I think really the West side is killing it when it comes to hip hop. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Who are you really? thinking of? Well, well, just the guys like Ty Dolla Sign and like mm-hmm. that whole click surrounding that movement. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ty, Ty Dolla Sign is dope. Yeah, it's really him. fresh. It's really, really fresh. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Do you guys have any like, or I guess who would be your biggest inspiration for the music that you make? Do you guys have any like in, artists in particular that you kind of like looked up to when you started making music or just kind of like went by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I th- and um, I, th- I think the names that really drove us to like making music and making the stuff we're making right now uh, are the guys like Flux Pavilion, Dr. Mm. P, uh, but mm-hmm. also um, um, R.L. Grime. Oh, yeah. Like, because they were like, they were, they were on this thing like early on in their own yeah. way and with their own flavor um mm-hmm. 
but everybody remembers that Ar- Arrow Grime remix of Mercy of Kanye. Mm-hmm. I mean, that stuff really showed us what this thing could be, you know? How, yeah. how these songs pop off in a major crowd. Speaking of Kanye, have you guys seen what's going on with Kanye recently? Oh my gosh. What do you, what's your opinion on that? Side uh, note. <laughs> I, I didn't really follow. I mm-hmm. saw him crying again. And yep. saying something that that his mom wanted to abort him. Are you yep. talking about that specific yep. thing? Yeah. Well, yeah. he he was running for president, and I think his first um, campaign rally, he just had a total meltdown. And I, I, you know, everybody's like, ah, oh, Kanye, I'm freaking out. But I felt really bad for him. I I always feel bad for him because I'm a Aww. huge fan. Yeah. And me I, too. Uh, no, I I didn't mean it like that. I'm just like no, uh, no, no, no. I really, I really appreciate him for his music. I think he's a sick man. Mm-hmm. I think like he should take his meds and definitely get help. Um, but I, it, 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 has, it has come to the point that I, I'm not really even clicking on that stuff anymore because right. it's, it's just something any, any other day. And I mean, so, and one day I think like this is just him getting the, the amount of attention for whatever he's working on. And the other day yeah. I'm thinking, oh man, he's really really in a bad place yeah so I, I, think, don't, I don't really know anymore i'm so confused on him me too. i think he's definitely i think he's definitely in a bad place with everything with all everything he said the other day about his, yeah. his mom trying to no he was like, talking about him and and kim uh they were gonna abort their daughter together and he was starting oh, yeah. that he saved his daughter's life and i was just like oh man this poor dude yeah he, I, he I seemed think, to be I losing think, it i think he and, needs some help and to be really honest, why is he sharing that with the right. world? Why does right. everything has to be shared with the world? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's just, I don't, I, I don't even, I can't even comprehend any of that stuff. It, it's, it's a crazy idea. This is so personal and so private. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you, why, why wouldn't you just like keep this for yourself? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, it's just like, I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. Sad. It is pretty sad. Yeah. Do you have any ties to Philly at all? Have you been here? Oh, many times. Oh, cool. What'd you think? We played the block party, actually. Not the first oh. one. We played a uh, uh, mad decent block party back uh, like a couple of years back. Um, we, have, we have a good friend from there. Um, uh, what's his stage name again? We did this one song with him. And that's basically like the one dude I always hit up when I when I go to Philly. You don't remember his name though. No, no that's because <laughs> he he kind of like changed it. A I'm while messing back. with you. Huh? I said I'm just messing with you. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to remember okay. his name. Yeah, but I have like um just no, and we played. Um, I probably know who it is. I know a lot of. Wow. Ah, Bok Nero, okay. of course. Bok Nero. Oh, I'm good friends with I'm good friends with Bok Nero. because oh, he, he works closely with this guy named Shiz Lo. Um, oh yeah, who yeah, is yeah. Like, So Shiz Lo, Sean, I'm very good friends with him. I was supposed to be doing some touring with him um, back in March where everything got closed down, like out in oh, Texas. Good. But yeah, he's a really nice dude, and we did like a couple songs with him. We did two songs with him and and he's working with some people on our label as well and um yeah uh, that that's that's like i would say my solid tie to philly and of course wes um mm-hmm. yeah i've been there many times yeah cool. Have you had I, even took, I even took the train I, I even took the train once from philly to to manhattan <laughs> that was cool <laughs> that was so easy yeah it's super easy ah. um did you have a cheesesteak when you were here though yeah that's the real oh. question obviously from where yeah. i don't I, I don't i don't know i i, I had it well, i had it once from the from this spot from that one spot that's okay. also in that, in that movie uh creed there's this one mm. store right mm-hmm. Pat, yeah knows. yeah avi do you know what he said what i never saw that um, creed um i'm trying Good to think it's, it's probably either pats or genos not or 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 at Max's, maybe. Max, yeah, I don't know, but yeah, there's anyway. there's there's a few there's a few good spots to go to in Philly. You know, there's a few there's a few spots that are just a little hyped up a little bit, but yeah. 
Well, End of the day, it's a sandwich, right? With cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, he did not just say that. <laughs> uh -oh. you, you take it seriously over here. Yeah, I know you guys, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, well, hopefully you start touring soon and you can come visit us here because we're all very bored. <laughs> guys, yeah. I can't wait. Like, yeah. I, Jim and I really miss it. We talked the other day and, and we, like, we toured a lot and we flew a lot. And sometimes it was kind of hard to get on the plane again, but now it's like you don't know what you got until it's gone, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, seriously. Oh my God, I fucking sure. missed it. One last question I had was, so since you guys have been in the, um, in, you know, in the business for quite a long time now and you guys have been doing your thing for a while, do you feel like... We celebrated you, our 10 year anniversary a couple of weeks back. Oh, oh wow. Congrats. Happy anniversary. <laughs> yeah, <thanks. laughs> Um, do you guys feel, are you, are you guys still reaching to like push higher and higher and just keep going? And, um, or do you think everything's kind of calmed down or are you still like pushing for more? That's an interesting question. Like, I mean, more in what, what term, you know, like, as in, um, like, like, what do you see for yourself in the future for yellow claw? Do you see, um, or what are your hopes for yellow claw in the future? Yeah, well, mm, we, like when it, when it comes to like doing a lot of shows and touring, we, are, we did that. So when it, when it comes to that, we really like, we are really honest and open to each other and say like, this is not something we want to do again because it, it just really... It's uh, rough. It's rough. Yeah. And it kind of takes the fun out of it also. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we all like... Um, the whole year of 2019 was already us touring in a, in a different way uh, with more downtime and uh, still like extensive tours. But when we toured for two weeks, we, to we took a week off or we took two weeks off. And this is like, it was just uh, the right amount of on and off time, you know? Nice. And when it comes to that and when we experienced that, we looked at each other and was like, I can do, like, if we do it like this, I can have fun doing this for a, for a long time. I can do yeah. this for another 10 years, like no problem. But if yeah, we want to push yeah. it again, and if we want to like, you know, doing, doing uh, 10 shows a week, that kind of stuff. I mean, it just, it's just a matter of months before you're, before you're so tired and you're, you know, it's, you just, it's just, it just takes the fun out of it. But we kind of have a, have a way now that, that it's, you know, it keeps it really, I mean, still making music and playing shows is the most fun and um, it's the most fun thing to do and the most privileged thing to do. Honestly, our job is fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. And and on it, I would miss the travel as well. Like mm -hmm. I would just miss going to the states. I would just miss uh, going to Asia. I mean, we love all those places, and it just I, I always I love the fact that we're like comfortable everywhere you know that you've yeah, seen yeah. so many places that everywhere you can be comfortable like walking traveling you know i think that's just i think that's an amazing thing yeah sounds like a, sounds like a really good time yeah and then and then do that with your best friend i mean you know yeah that would be we're, we're ready crazy. for another 10 years yeah especially all over the world too it sounds like a one heck of a time all right well it was so nice talking to you nels hey guys thanks and and definitely go check it out you're gonna it's think what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck it, i believe we do we do the sunday yeah all right Nels. thank thanks, you so guys. much later See ya.